Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Dev XR. I'm Jonathan. This is just going to be another quick tip on how we can actually create an EXE launcher for Unreal Engine rather than having to load Visual Studio and then select our engine version and launch it up through this using F5, which is what I've been doing for quite a long time, but it's kind of unnecessary. So I'm going to show you how we can create an EXE and we don't need Visual Studio either. What we've got to do is find your location where you have Unreal Engine installed. For example, mine's on the C drive. So I've got 4.24.1 and 4.25. I'll just do 4.25, but it's the exact same process for both of them. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your engine and then find Unreal Engine so you can see this lot. And then in here, we're gonna to go to engine, binaries, Windows 64, and then we're gonna scroll down a little bit just till we find ue4editor.exe. And it's a simple matter of just right click, create shortcut, and then drag it to your desktop. I'm gonna rename mine. Point one, I believe I've got. If I don't put a dollar sign in. Oh. And then we can just double click that. And it immediately loads up. Nope, two, five, zero. So rename. Excellent. So that's just a quick video on how to set up an EXE. It also allows you to right click and then in properties. So you can enable DirectX using this, or if you've got Vulkan installed for Vulkan desktop, you can actually enable that here as well. And you can also launch as run administrator. So just a couple of things might help. I hope it was useful. If you want to keep up to date with videos, then I recommend pressing the bell down in the bottom right hand corner or just subscribing if you're new. And if they want somewhere to hang out, maybe get some help with Unreal Engine and have a chat with some others who are doing the same thing, then we've got a Discord and I've got a link in the description. So I'd love to see you over there. And until next time, bye.